In sensitive negotiations, this is not the time for this resolution which jeopardizes these efforts. Amerika Serikat kembali menggunakan hak vetonya untuk membatalkan resolusi gencatan senjata di Gaza. Hal ini mengundang kecaman dari sejumlah negara termasuk Rusia. Putusan Rusia untuk PBB, Vasily Nebensia menyindir Amerika berusaha melindungi sekutunya di Timur Tengah. Sebab kejahatan senjata dinilai hanya akan menghambat Israel dalam melakukan tindakan keji di Gaza. Nebensia beranggapan bahwa Amerika telah merestui sekutunya untuk membuat Gaza tidak bisa dihuni. Diketahui resolusi gencatan senjata ini diusulkan oleh Al Jazeera di Dewan Keamanan PBB. Dalam sidang yang digelar pada Selasa 20 Februari, 13 anggota menyatakan setuju. Sementara Inggris abstain dan Amerika Serikat memilih tidak. Ini merupakan veto ketiga Amerika terhadap resolusi di Gaza sejak Israel menyatakan perang terhadap Hamas pada Oktober tahun lalu. Utusan Amerika untuk PBB, Linda Thomas Greenfield mengatakan, Pihaknya menuntut gencatan senjata tanpa syarat, sementara dari resolusi yang diajukan mensyaratkan pembebasan Sandra. Believe me, I understand the desire for the council to act urgently, to positively shape the situation in line with the Security Council's mandate. Still, that desire cannot blind us to the reality of the situation on the ground. It and it cannot come at the expense of undermining the only, and let me repeat, the only path available toward a longer, durable peace. And that is why you've heard me say over and over again, any action this council takes right now should help, not hinder these sensitive and ongoing negotiations. And we believe that the resolution on the table right now would, in fact, negatively impact those negotiations. Demanding an immediate, unconditional ceasefire without an agreement requiring Hamas to release the hostages will not bring about a durable peace. Instead, it could extend the fighting between Hamas and Israel, extend the hostages' time in captivity, an experience described by former hostages as hell and extend the dire humanitarian crisis Palestinians are facing in Gaza. None of us want that. And so I reiterate the United States' belief that while numerous parties engage in sensitive negotiations, this is not the time for this resolution which jeopardizes these efforts. Download Tribune X sekarang. Menghadirkan lokal menjadi Indonesia.